everyone in this video we will discussing the difference between a heart rate and a pulse rate so heart rate is the rate at which the left ventricle is contracting whereas the pulse rate is the rate at which the pressure waveform of the left ventricle contraction is being generated so this is let's say the left ventricle this is the aorta and this is a peripheral vessel reaching the hand uh, connected to the aorta so the rate at which this left ventricle is contracting each minute is known as the heart rate and we can know it by palpating the apex beat or we can auscultate the heart sound and then calculate it over a minute whereas as with each left ventricle contraction there the blood from the left ventricle goes into the aorta and then goes into the peripheral vessel and then generate a pressure there which we palpate and if we calculate it over a minute this is known as the pulse rate okay so heart rate is the rate at which the left ventricle is contracting whereas the pulse rate is the pressure waveform of the left ventricular contraction generated due to the blood flow okay in a normal person whenever the left ventricle is contracting the blood will go to the peripheral vessel and it will be palpated so for a normal person the heart will will be equal to the pulse rate but if there is a condition such that there is narrowing of the aorta like it occurs in case of takayasu arthritis what will happen is the left ventricle will be contracting whereas the blood will not be able to reach to the peripheral artery so the peripheral pulse will not be palpable so in that case there will be absent of the absence of the pulse so that's why the takayasu arthritis is known as the pulseless disease in this case the heart rate will be normal whereas the pulse rate will be zero other than that if there is a decreased blood within the left ventricle such that very less amount reaches the peripheral vessel such that it cannot be palpated in that case also the pulse rate will be decreased like if there is a very small amount of blood there so it will not be able to generate enough pressure to be palpated as a pulse so in that case also there will be heart rate present but the pulse rate will be less so heart rate will be more than pulse rate and this difference between the heart rate and the pulse rate is known as the apex pulse deficit because the heart rate is being calculated at the apex and the pulse so it is known as apex pulse def deficit and we can make use of this apex pulse deficit in some conditions to get a diagnosis like if if we get a patient of a cardiovascular system and on uh, palpation of the pulse we get a irregular irregular rhythm in that case we by the use of the apex pulse deficit we can easily know whether it is atrial fibrillation or it is a peripheral uh, premature ventricular contraction or it is a variable av block in case of variable av block what happens is this is left atrium this is left ventricle and there is a problem in the av node lying between it so sometimes the av uh, lets the electric signal cross whereas sometimes it doesn't but every times it uh, lets the electric signal crosses the left ventricle has enough blood and it can contract to produce a enough pulse rate so in that case the heart rate will be equal to the pulse rate but what happens in a premature ventricular contraction or atrial fibrillation is uh, whenever the heart is uh, in its diastole the premature contraction of the left ventricle occurs such that enough filling has not occurred in the left ventricle to produce a pulse so in that case there will be a apex pulse deficit present and if this apex pulse deficit calculated over a minute is less than 10 then it is suggestive of a premature ventricular contraction whereas if it is greater than 10 it is suggestive of a atrial fibrillation